The Israeli Defence Forces have said a soldier reported missing in the Gaza Strip on Friday has been killed in combat. Hadar Goldin was feared captured by Hamas militants after an ambush. On Saturday, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel was prepared to continue fighting in Gaza even after the army has completed its mission of destroying cross-border tunnels. At the moment, it's clear what's going on. Hamas is interested in having people suffer and hurting the residents of Gaza so that the world accuses Israel of causing it. Terror has no borders. Today it's Israel, but tomorrow it'll be your countries. In Jerusalem, some residents have few hopes of a quick resolution to the crisis. I don't know where it's going to go, but it's so discouraging and just so heartbreaking and when I heard the news yesterday I just you know, I, I just wanted to to cry and uh, you, you lose your faith in wanting to believe that there is a way out of this. Several opinion polls in Israel have shown an overwhelming majority of people supporting the military offensive in the Gaza Strip.